most people come down those stairs going, swine, swine, uh, swine. But I feel that way about you. You beat us. Uh, no, I was lucky, though. I mean, you see, to start with, what the people don't realise is the golf clubs were very hard to use. And I, uh, when I couldn't hit the ball properly, I thought, I'm being set up. And I didn't know why. Oh, and right. then the gun actually did it. It was the gun? Yeah. That was the moment. Because you know the actors who were helping you, they all kept saying to me afterwards, it wasn't us that I didn't doubt. I said, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was, it was no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an interesting scenario. Uh, we tried to catch Henry Cooper with it, and we succeeded, but we weren't good enough for Tom. The idea is it's a video for golf being made, and a terrible sound man, you'll see him, he gets in the shot all the time. Actors who really weren't very good, I think they let us down, Oh, they were honest. excellent, they were excellent. And then a fat guy on a mower with a gun and all that sort of thing. <laughs> so... The moment is when the gun goes off. That's when I uh, realised, you, you fired the gun, I turned around, did you, did you see me swearing on it? I do swear. Or yeah. did you miss that? We worked the beep a few times, so yeah. I must have been. I, I said, oh golly, flip. And, and then... <laughs> and, he did. He did. And then I realised that where you were shooting, the bushes hadn't moved, and the bushes... And I thought, well, that must be fine. Very good. Yeah. You just watch very closely. Make up your mind, when did Tom O'Connor actually spot the moment that it was nothing about a golf video, he was actually on for a gotcha? Well, during the course of this programme, we're not only covering the tournaments, we're also covering eras as well. This is the Victorian era, and this over here is Tom O'Connor. Nice to see you, Tom. Hi, Keith. How are you, right? Look great, Neil. Plus four Well, there you are. It's very Victorian, this, and I've realised that my biggest handicap is the collar. <laughs> but it keeps your head still over the ball. It's true, isn't it? Cut your throat. I brought you clubs. Tremendous days, You know a bit they? about these, don't you? I do, in fact, because it, would you believe, folks, that a set of these went recently at Sotheby's for £600,000? I'll yeah. tell you something else. Bit further apart, Tom. You reckon? Yeah, what, just my a eyes? bit. No, the old legs. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> See that? Shall I put these down? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Give us a little roll. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> That's a really good shot, Tom. Not bad. I'm looking yeah. about what. 2.30? Yeah, with a five wood. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. Very nice good. little five wood. A little bit whippy, but it was very nice. Yeah. Problem here is, uh, what do we do between this oh, and the green? There's how a little... far do you reckon you've got to go there? 150? I'll have yeah. that five. I'll tell, I, yeah. I, at least it'll get us over the water, no matter how high it is. It says here. Oh, we've got in the following wind. Oh! <laughs> it's called timing, stupid. that. Rubbish! Rubbish! I've got a job to do. Have you? I'm oh, <laughs> 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 the rabbits, and there's a rabbit there. Did they get that fella from Broadmoor? Is he, is he in? I'm done. Action. Well, what I'm going to try, uh, well, what I'm gonna try and do, it says here, I've only got to lift the ball just literally over that, so then hopefully it'll roll somewhere near the flag. Right. <laughs> and then eight putts, and we're, we're round in Three. 12. Oh, a bit far. Whoop. Yeah, got him up. Cut. Motorbike. And if this comes off, you can juggle jam, I'll tell you. Yes? Excuse me. Come on, what's that sound? I can't hear anything, can you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it. Oh, it's over there. No. Oh, I can't hear anything. Nicely out of the bunker, a nice mm. little short putt for the end here. Yeah. To, to win the match. Best type of putt uphill, actually, coming in right, slightly right to left, I would have thought. Yeah. But before you put that, yeah. we've got a special treat for you. This is Mr. Henry Heen. Come over here. Excuse me. I can hear a sound. Oh, don't put it You know when the Isle of Man TT's on? I'm going to play golf. Here's <laughs> <laughs> a cake. But before you do that, we've got a special treat for you. Yeah? Yeah, we've got a, a golf ball that's worth £3,000. It's called a Feathers. Belongs to this man here, Henry Heaney. Come in. Henry, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, sir. It's one of the original square golf balls, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. Yes. No, it's um, the old golf balls were made from goose feathers, a huge pile of goose feathers, which would then be squashed down. And that became the, mm. the ball. So this is all yours. Shall I replace it for you, Ben Kelly? Yes, OK. It doesn't look all that round to me. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, you're, you're all happy there, aren't you? Because I may. Point out that is five thousand pounds worth of golf balls. And I, I, I swing very violently when I put, you know. 
after I put there's usually a smile on the ball, but I mean, don't you worry, you stay there, Henry. <laughs> you keep yourself to yourself. All right, now. Oh, not bad. Hang on, let's try again. bad. Oh, oh, oh right, you just kick it around, yeah. Bit, kick no. it around. That's all right. It's only 50 grand's worth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> you be careful, those shoes cost money. <laughs> I let him wait on the left hand side of this, I swear there is. That's the one. Oh, get, get it. Oh. Excellent. Well done. Brilliant. Do you, do you want to get the ball, Henry? Shall I? Okay. Go on. What? Go on, Henry. It's a pity. <laughs> What? Well, I didn't pick it out. No, I didn't. Oh, come on. Oh, it went in. Did it go in? Mm. Wasn't the fellow on the motorbike? No, I didn't pick it out. I just walked away from the road. Yeah, I knew you. You've got to be quick around here, mate. I'll tell you. I never touched it, man. Look, just... I don't know. What's happening? Just have a word with this guy from me. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah. Please, could you ask some, someone to do something? Don't make him back. He's got a split there. this. Hey, Keith Chagrin. He's got the box. Tell him he's got the box. Oh, for heaven's sake, please. Uh, can you hang on a minute? Yeah. Listen, he could put the box on his mantelpiece. They'd never know. <laughs> hey? I think you better do. Yeah, I think you've got your rabbit. You know the man? There was a man shooting rabbits before. I think you've got one in the hole here. <laughs> Swallowing balls. <laughs> uh, well, I'll put you on to Mr. Healy anyway. Please. Yeah, he's cut, I think he's cut off, but you know. What? Hello? He said he's on his way. I don't see how it could happen. I don't. Is it possible, that? All right. Maury, well, you tell me where it is. What's up? Where is it? What's up? Look, it's... Uh, Tom well, O'Connor took the shot, right? Yeah. I was tending the pin. No, what went I, in. What happened was this, Noel, you see? I was standing here. No, no, I was here. <laughs> I hit the ball with a left-hand bias and it rolled straight in the hole. Right. So I think you've got those... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got those in the palm of your hand. Yeah, you? very <laughs> <in the video. laughs> <laughs> you still get a gotcha off. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hey. Tom. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. I mean, I mean, uh, just, just to underline your composure and the way you kept on, the, I was behind the bush most of the time getting messages from the team who said, oh, yeah, it's going very well. He hasn't got a clue. He has <laughs> not got And you're stringing us along. That was wonderful. And the little man with the golf ball. When Keith Chegwin kicked the ball that was supposed to be worth 50 grand, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's wonderful. He kicked it straight back. <laughs> wonderful. Well, uh, the, it, the coincidence there is that Keith is the only other person who's actually sussed us, so the two of you. Uh, it's an exclusive club now. We, we, gen we generally get our victims, clients. Well, uh, if, if you'd given me a decent golf club to tee off with, I'd never have spotted that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. Tom O'Connor, well done. Thank you.